What's going on, everybody? Poji Force here. Welcome back to Home Sweet Home. Last time, we were dealing with the uh, spirit. Hmm. Students who don't have key cards but desire to use the lab room, please contact AJ Warren in the teacher's waiting room on the second floor. So last time, uh, we were chasing Jane, basically through the school oh didn't I do this already yeah I did you know I definitely did and it's making me do it again so we should be able to just take the elevator down so maybe I can actually try to finish my thought. Uh, we're chasing Jane through the school. She keeps running away from us for some reason. Oh, wait. I don't want to go to the fourth floor. I need to go to the second floor. Can I not go to the second floor? I could probably go to the fourth floor for some reason, so I think I might actually go back up to the fourth floor and see what's going on up there. 7,000 pound capacity. This is a freight elevator? Seems a little small to be a freight elevator. But we got Shane's marks on the wall. I believe her name is Shane. And I don't think she actually responds to the flashlight. Oh, what do we have here? Someone's suicidal letter says, Father, Mother, I'm deeply sorry. I'm in such terrible pain. I can't go on without her. I have to be with her. Wherever she is, nothing can keep us apart. Not even death. Alright, so I think someone was very cruel to her. And they did the love. We know about two curses. The curse of nails in the stomach, which can kill people. And the curse of uh, love, which can make people fall in love. So someone may have made her fall in love with the person who was dead. Hi. How are you? I see. Oh, the red light's this way. I don't know what that is. But I have a feeling that notifying this thing last time is the reason why Shane knew I was here. So we're just going to not mess with him. Oh, there's multiple of them. Oh, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> ah! Where the hell did she come from? dead oh that's my first death to her damn okay um so yeah alerting them alerts her good to know so let's not do that again Are they going to let me pass behind him? Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, come on. 
Come on! I can't remember the. Hold on. I can't remember the controls for uh, for uh, leaning. I'm having a hard time with this. Okay. All right. I think I can go unlock the door from the other side. So that's definitely something I will want to do. <laughs> Leave me alone. So now she's on this floor. It'd almost be better off to just die. Student's ID card. Student ID card to unlock electrical door to another building. Right on the card says Kan No Yao University, Cherry Anan Pat Sorn. Is that her? Hmm. Hello. Secrets. Oh. Okay. And another piece of the photograph. All right. It seems like it is literally impossible to avoid alerting at least one of them. Can I open this door? Please tell me I can open this door. No. So I have to dodge her, and I have to dodge the uh, beamy boys at the same time? That seems hardly fair. Oh. No more beamy boy in here, huh? Open up quickly. Open up quickly and soon. I can go down to the second floor. 
I mean, I already have a key card. I probably don't actually need another one, but just to look for AJ on the second floor, huh? Or do I not have that option now that I went up? I may no longer have that option now that I went up instead of down. Why are there candles everywhere? Occupado, got it. Interesting that there's a shrine here. Oh, my hands are bloody. The door sealed behind me. There is nowhere to hide here. Find Jane. Oh boy. What do we have here? We have a letter. Description to ghost summoning. Excuse me? Scented incense is the main tool used in every religious ritual by lighting scented incense in different amounts or result in different outcomes. However, one is lit. It's meant as a mean to summon spirits to you. Okay. Scented incense. Oh boy. Alright, I have a feeling that I am not going to like this. Oh, it's summoning him that way. All right, there's another one of them boys over there. I don't like that I have no apparent way of, uh, Spooking him off. Okay, he doesn't see me, surprisingly. I see what I need to do, though. I have to get more incense. And then put them over there. I hope she didn't see me. Go away, lady. Go away. You don't know where I am. You don't know where I am. I'm gone. I'm gone. Peace. Out. Alright, so I have to bait that spirit away. He's looking over there, and then we just do that. It baits him away. Don't 
see me. Thank you. Okay. I don't know if I'm in the clear. We're looking for Jane. Hmm. Okay, that startled me. Jane. Jane, where are you? I don't know if the ghost spirit lady is going to start walking down this way. I certainly hope not. Parents letter to Shane's academic advisor. To Shane's academic advisor, September 14th, 1996. Shane is now having a severe mental breakdown. The first diagnosis shows that Shane is experiencing hallucinations caused by stress. There are also some neurological problems that cannot be identified yet. He has to be kept under strict and close care. Oh, Shane's the dude. So she must be the other person. On behalf of Shane and his guardian, I'd like to take an extended leave from now until he is fully recovered. And the... What was her name then? It wasn't Bella. One, two, three, zero, two. Why is there an extremely bloody locker? Um, okay. Newspaper dated October 4th, 1996. Missing girl found dead on October 3rd. Police found the body of Miss Patra. Sisra Cool Bell. So her name is Bell in the multi-purpose room that was shut down in the engineering faculty building of Kan Na Yao University, which is believed to be the reason why the body wasn't found. The unbearable smell of the body led to this horrifying discovery. The body was still in uniform, submerged in blood. There's no report yet on whether or not this was a suicide or a murder, but there's a lot of nails found next to the body. The body was sent to the corner and we hope the autopsy will reveal the cause of her death. She was puking. Oh, so she was the victim of the nail curse. I don't like this. Oh, she was the victim of the nail curse. We're back in this room. Get out of this place, huh? Follow the strings. Okay. The room has been sealed. Okay, I gotta follow the strings. But those strings lead somewhere I can't go. Probably have to find the right way out. Is she gonna come in here? Yep. Oh, there's a piece of photo in here. I wanna wait till she leaves before I go pick it up. This is not the right room. Don't turn around now. Don't turn around now. There is nowhere to hide if, if she catches me. There is nowhere to hide if she catches me. Two key. Room one o two. 
That's 105. Is this supposed to be room 102? If all the candles are put out, the door might open. Okay. How am I even going to get to room 102? That's room 105. That's room 110. Nine one oh four. That's two candles out. There's three candles in total, I think. Ooh, she's angry. I don't think this candle's in this room. Where is this third candle? Okay. I've got the key to room 102, which I guess is what I need. Oh, she's coming this way. All right, is she going to come in here now? All three candles are out. Okay. Is she going across the hall? What's she doing? Did I alert her? Did I step on something? Did I make a loud noise? Oh, the plastic bags might make noise and alert her. down the hall and we are free oh no we're not we are not free where is this place is Jane here love pointing at the arrow HSH home sweet home Rock Sunday. Actually, it's Tuesday, but this will be uploaded on a Wednesday. All right. We're going to stop here. This is going to be it for now. Uh, I have a feeling we're coming up on something big very soon. But this is going to have to be it for this one. We're running out of time for today. But that's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, everyone, I am Force, And you all take care. I'll catch you next time.